So once upon a time there was a room called Sinus in Mode and now we know it as Lineage OS. It was so amazing that original OnePlus One came with Sinus in Mode pre-installed and that became a plus point for that device and NKBHD reviewed it and that phone becomes super hit. Actually that was a true flagship killer because on that time it actually killed Samsung S5 and STC M8 which were the top two Android phones at that time. So people who used to love Synergy Mode and who used to install Synergy Mode in their phone actually bought OnePlus One because it had a Synergy Mode which is now known as Lineage OS. Despite of being one of the most popular Android ROM and being available for many Android phones, why it never became number one? In this video, we are going to discuss about that. So let's get started. So I installed my first Lineage OS in 2011, which is nine years ago. At that time, it used to be Cyanogen Mode 9 and I used to install it on my Nexus 4 and Nexus 5. It used to be based on Android 4 Ice Cream Sandwich, which many of you might not even remember because it used to be early days of Android. It was trying to fight with gigantic iOS, which comes in iPhone. And since then, till Lineage OS 17, I have always installed Lineage OS in my daily driver phone because Lineage OS actually provides pure vanilla Android experience. And also Lineage OS was never known for its features and customization. In fact, Lineage OS used to provide least number of features and customization in their room. And that became minus point for Lineage OS itself. Because alongside Lineage OS, there was one more popular room and even powerful, which was Resurrection Remix, which used to provide all kind of features that Lineage OS had. And on the top of that, it used to provide status bar customization, QS panel, you could customize your lock screen, there was app circle bar, there was gesture navigation, there was different kind of recent menu and people who don't like their normal buttons used to replace it with navigation pill. So all these features were available in Resurrection Remix. And then other rooms came like Havoc OS, Evolution X, Chorus OS, Ancient OS and many more. So Havoc OS was even better than Resurrection Remix because it had all the features and customization plus it was stable and more powerful as a ROM. Currently there are plenty of Android ROM options that you can install in your phone. There is Chorus OS, there is Dove Face, there is Ancient OS, there is Evolution X, there is dedicated gaming room. If you want a good battery life, there is different kind of rooms for that. So right now, there are plenty of options people have. And that's the reason people don't install Lineage OS in their phone. So normally if somebody installs a custom room, there is only two reasons. Either they want to get latest Android or they want to get more features and customization in their phone. So it took them really long time to update Lineage OS 16 to Lineage OS 17. So for the longest time, official Lineage OS was stuck on Android 9 and people were waiting for Android 10. And obviously people couldn't wait and they installed other ROMs. And for the longest time, people kept asking for more features, but they never got it. People kept asking for new camera, but they always got default Snapdragon camera in Lineage OS. And now there are more criteria. People want dedicated gaming rooms. If there is no gaming tools in the room, people don't install it. Most of people who install custom rooms also play PUBG in their phone. So other major reason people don't like Lineage OS is the battery life. Personally speaking, I normally get 7 to 8 hours of screen on time in Havoc OS. But when I install Lineage OS, I get around 5 to 6 hours of screen on time. Custom kernel can be a reason for that. So guys, that's all the reason for Lineage OS not being number one. And guys, if you like my this channel, I'm sure you're gonna like my Hindi channel. Link for that will be in description and I will see you tomorrow.